Machine guns are about to come back in fashion in Destiny 2 in a big way due to a major buff coming in Season 15. Well, today I'm going to check out some of the best machine guns to get in Destiny 2 right now, plus how to get them so you can be ready when the new season starts. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. Well, Bungie outlined their plans in a recent update on July the 1st by saying machine guns in PvE. Through playtesting and player feedback, we found they're not really doing their intended job well enough, so we're planning a noticeable change in Season 15. Well, with that in mind, let's have a look at some of the best machine guns in the game to go after right now. So first up, we've got Thermal Erosion. And Thermal Erosion is a legendary power machine gun. It's a rapid-fire frame machine gun. I mean, it's got a diva ammo reserve, so it's slightly faster reload when the magazine is empty. For PvP, Killing Wind, where final blows grant increased mobility, range and handling for a short duration, and dynamic sway reduction for that increase in accuracy and stability when holding down the trigger. Both of these perks will be really good to look out for. For PvE, Zen Moment, where damage with this weapon causes increased stability, and Demolitionist, that would be a good option. And currently the most popular role out there at the moment has Zen Moment and Wellspring on there, with Wellspring generating ability energy on kills. But well, to get this weapon, you have to own Beyond Light and you need to run Empire Hunts. And you can get this specific weapon from running the Warrior Empire Hunt. And there's three parts to that quest. So to get access to Empire Hunts, you're going to need to complete the campaign. And then clearly post campaign missions with Varix. Well, next up, we've got Archon's Thunder. And Archon's Thunder is a legendary power machine gun with a high impact frame, meaning the weapon is slow firing, but it has high damage. And the weapon is more accurate when stationary and aiming down sights. For PvE, Rangefinder and Rampage would be a really good role. Mulligan and Thresh is also a good role for PvE, but for, P but for PvP, Quick Draw and Snapshot Sights would be good. Or you've always got Killing Wind and also Iron Grip 2, which is an exclusive perk for Iron Banner weapons. Well, to get this machine gun, you do have to run Iron Banner. And at the making of this video, Iron Banner is available, so I would go out there and get it while it's available. And it is also the reward for the quest in Season of the Splicer on that final step of the quest after you get the shotgun kill. So this is the only place you can get it to drop at the moment. So you can hand in tokens to Lord Saladin at the tower and get the Iron Banner weapons that are in the loot pool. So Archon's Thunder, really, really good one to go after. Well, next up, we've got Shattered Cypher. And Shattered Cypher is a legendary power void machine gun with a rapid fire frame, meaning deeper ammo reserves. Again, slightly faster reload when the magazine is empty. For PvE, I'd go with Chambered Compensator, Alloy Magazine Under Pressure, and Adrenaline Junkie. So Chambered Compensator will give you more stability and controls recoil. It's always good with a machine gun. An Alloy Magazine means faster reloading when the magazine is empty. And under Pressure means more stability and accuracy when the magazine gets lower. And finally, Adrenaline Junkie It's a new perk where grenade final blows grant bonus damage and handling for a moderate duration. So just make sure to get your grenades off before shooting the weapon and heating up and rampage, also really good for PvE. For PvP, field prep and snapshot sights be really good, plus fluted barrel and extended mag. Well, to get Shattered Cypher it is a random drop from the seasonal activity in Season of the Splicer, and you do need to run the override missions. So there's two chests at the end of the override activity, and the one on the right provides the seasonal loot. So this is where you're going to get it to drop. Also, if you level up at the Splicer Servitor, you get a chance for a drop of some seasonal loot. So it's worth noting, you do need access to Season of the Splicer to get Shattered Cypher, but I reckon it's worth it. It's a really, really good machine gun. Well, next up, we've got the Seventh Seraph Saw. So this one is a high-impact frame machine gun, meaning slow firing and high damage. It's more accurate when aiming down sights. For PvE, auto-loading holster and Vorpal weapon are decent perks, but also you've got Clown Cartridge and Firing Line, whereas for PvP, Zen Moment and Opening Shot is a decent pick. So this one can be picked up from Banshee44 when he's selling it, as it's in the world loot pool, or you can get it from random drops from engrams and activities, and it is worth noting you can get this one as a free-to-play player. Well, next up we've got the Swarm, and also it's a depth version 2. So the Swarm is a legendary power machine gun with a high impact frame, it's slow firing and high damage, and the weapon is more accurate when stationary and aiming down sight. The most popular role out there in the community at the moment is Killing Wind and Dragonfly. This is probably a good PvE role. And another decent one for PvE is Outlaw and Vorpal Weapon, 
for increasing damage against bosses on Vorpal, and precision kills decrease the reload time with Outlaw. For PvP, dynamic spray reduction is then moment, or well, that would be a decent roll. We can get the Adept version of the Swarm from Grandmaster Nightfalls, or you get the regular version from the Nightfalls when the Swarm is available. And it is a random drop at the end, you won't get it on every run. So as you progress up the difficulty levels, you do get more of a chance at a drop of the weapon, so I would focus on Legend or Master Nightfalls for the most efficient way of farming this weapon. And finally today, we've got the number one pick for the best machine gun to get in Destiny 2 right now, and I reckon that one is Corrective Measure, and also the Time Loss version too. So Corrective Measure is a legendary power machine gun with an adaptive frame, meaning it's got a well-rounded grip, it's reliable, and it's sturdy. For PvE, Arrowhead Break, Acurize Rounds, Rewind Rounds, and Firefly would be a great role. So Arrowhead Break helps control the recoil, increases handling speed, whereas Acurize Round gives you that boost in range, meaning you can stay back while firing the machine gun. Rewind Rounds is the Vault of Glass exclusive perk, where when the magazine is empty, it will refill from reserves based on the number of hits. And finally, we've got Firefly, another returning perk from Destiny 1, where precision kills with the weapon increase the reload speed and cause the target to explode dealing solar damage to nearby enemies. For PvP, Extended Barrel, Extended Mag, Dynamic Sphere Reduction, tap the trigger, so that would be a decent roll for PvP. Well, to get this one, it's a random drop from Encounters in the Vault of Glass raid, and this is the only place in the game at the moment you can get the machine gun to drop. So the corrective measure can drop from the first encounter, the Conflux, the third encounter, Templar, and also the fifth encounter too, and that is Atheon meaning you've got three chances in a raid for it to drop for you, and if you've got three Guardians, then it's nine chances per week. There's also the Time Loss version as well, if you want to do the Master Vault of Glass. Well, that is a rundown of the best machine guns in the game to get right now, and you want to get one of those to be ready for Season 15. As I mentioned before, I would go after the Corrective Measure, or I reckon the Swarm. So those are in the number two and the number one slots for the best machine guns in Destiny 2 right now, according to this list. So go out there, get a machine gun, and get ready for Season 15. Well, let me know down in the comments your top machine gun and share your favourites in the comments. Well, that is it for this guide for the best machine guns for Season 15 in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. If you want to join the community, check out the Discord link in the description. Or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks again. See you soon.